Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the August 7, 2017 lunar eclipse in Aquarius. Now, those of you that don't know, most of you may know, but for those that don't, well, a lunar eclipse is like a full moon, but yeah, like a regular full moon, but it is much more intense and powerful. Uh, emotions can reach a very strong, powerful culmination at this time. There can be very exceptional, in, uh, uninhibited, unrestrained uh, emotional expression that will be unleashed at this time by many. Uh, could very well be a strong outward declaration of something that is exasperating uh, somebody. This could be a time where, I mean, when you have uh, this lunar eclipse, which is basically very amplified uh, full moon in terms of its impact, this could be a time to show a very more exceptional uh, outgoing side. Even if your chart uh, suggests that you're rather introverted and introspective, even people that, that are like that are all apt to more uh, come out and, uh, and be more outgoing during this time. So, also, uh, being in Aquarius, this is a time where many may come up uh, with some new concept, new idea. Uh, it's more, it's very strong, powerful, innovative, and ingenious uh, energy. Now, what was started with uh, the new moon on July 23rd, 2017, it may culminate and end for many people on, during, at this time of the lunar eclipse on August 7th, 2017. Uh, a creative spark may result in something ingenious and innovative or a new idea or concept for many. This could also be a time where perhaps uh, becoming more extroverted and gregarious with that Leo energy with the new moon could ultimately result in friends for life with this uh, uh, with the fault with this uh, lunar eclipse on August 7 2017 and really uh, people that will collectively feel the impact of this but very strongly people that have uh, the uh, Cancer or Aquarius prominent in their charts. And when I say prominent in their charts, of course, I'm talking about the Sun, Moon, or an Ascendant. Now, also, this could be a time where you might have a very strong unveiling or revelation of, of, of somebody in, in terms of their integrity or really about who they are as, as a person. You, you really might find out from some, uh, some people prominent in your life that somebody that had a strong credibility with you may be exposed for he or she really is at this time and of course that leads to positive things because you obviously don't need somebody that may be two-faced or duplicitous in your life and i mean if you find out if you have friends like that who needs enemies or adversaries right so also this energy too can be rather serendipitous it could cause some turmoil and tribulation but it could ultimately lead to something positive let's take an example let's say that somebody has uh, okay they have this uh, lunar eclipse in Aquarius hit their sixth house well let's say you're working at some I don't know if you want to say menial or mundane job say you're in retail or something and you're trying to get your job done and let's say that you have a supervisor comes over and asks you to do something out of what your uh, what's uncharacteristic of you in terms of what you generally do and, and uh, wants you to look at his computer let's say that it was hit with some malicious virus that that um, that corrupted his system that corrupted his computer and let's say the person goes over and troubleshoots it and fixes it well well, well, even though this this might have taken the person out of what he generally did, let's say somebody winds up coming over to him and saying, hey, you know what, I saw you work on that guy's computer and you troubleshoot it really good. Would you be interested in, in really um, maybe getting another position somewhere where you troubleshoot computers that will pay a lot more money? So that's an extreme example, I understand, but you get the idea. Now, also, um, the thing about this too, 
is that when you, uh, like for me, I mean, you look at the house that it falls in in this example for me, mine is going to fall in my uh, 10th house. And during this time, it could be uh, something that might, I mean, this is the full culmination and expression of the sun, of, of, of this Aquarius moon. And it could be possible that I might ex, uh, receive more notoriety connected with astrology or some new idea that might improve or enhance my stature uh, in life. So also look at the aspects that this lunar uh, eclipse makes. Uh, to your uh, to your astrological uh, points in your chart uh, well mine is going to make uh, an opposition to my natal venus and leo in the fourth house so this could be a conflict of uh, love of recognition and self-aggrandizing things connected with the home uh, and it will be in conflict perhaps with the strong culmination of this selfless energy that it, that is in my tent will be in my tenth house connected with my reputation and public image. So I'm probably I might be torn between egocentric things out of the home and things that are more public, improving reputation, showing more humanitarian instincts and selflessness. So, and it might also make this energy, considering that it's making an opposition to my Venus, and Venus is about enjoyment. It might be something where I might not really be enjoying this. Uh, energy as much so to speak so also uh look at the aspects that this makes i mean when i'm saying aspects that are made in in the sky at this time uh by this energy by this uh, uh the, by this moon in aquarius now the moon in aquarius will make a trine to jupiter at this time and this could be very positive and auspicious uh, energy uh, for uh, incorporating this selfless energy, this humanitarian energy of this moon uh, in Aquarius, and and really in, in doing it with a lot of exuberance and that expansive energy of Jupiter. But given that Jupiter is in Libra, it could also improve, enhance, or uh, actually uh, increase relationships as well. And, and it'll be able, and this is very good aspect. Uh, at this time during this lunar eclipse now also uh, another interesting aspect this makes is that it will also oppose mars and leo this could indicate possible erratic acrimonious emotional energy it could be unpredictable unusual emotional reactions that are pertaining or connected with matters of pride ego and just wanting to be right now another thing too is that look at other aspects that are made on this day and they will be intensified because of this lunar eclipse uh, the sun will be in conjunction with mars and this can give a lot of aggressive and combative energy with that leo ferocity the conjunction could also suggest some over exertion and be also wary of possible dehydration because Mars and Leo could be about an abundance of fire, but have depleted water as well. And keep in mind that we are going to experience this lunar eclipse in the thick of summer. So this is uh, something uh, to look at. Many many uh, places in the world are going to experience very uh, acrid, very hot temperatures during uh, this time. So those are some things uh, to look at as far as this lunar eclipse goes. And Really, people, uh, that will uh, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the lunar eclipse in Aquarius on August 7th, 2017. Stay tuned next time where I'll be continuing uh, the series that I am uh, that I'm doing right now in astrology, the zodiac signs in soulmates. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.